Good day, my name is Abby Blachnout and I'm from Word of Faith, the branch. Thank you for joining us this morning. You know, today, in today's society, um, we read so much about emotions and how to not run with our emotions many times, but we must be careful to keep our emotions in check. And unfortunately, there's many situations that comes up in our daily lives that frustrate us, that fluster us, that upset us. You know, some, they say that the people closest to you will upset you the most. Or we go through many times of stress. But when that happens, we should declare like the psalmist said in Psalm 116 verse 17. It says, return to your rest. O oh my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. And I'm going to read the scripture again in, in the uh, New Living Translation. It says, Let my soul be at rest again, for the Lord has been good to me. Um, you know, D David you know, wrote such amazing psalms. And it just speaks to the initiative he took to speak to himself. When he went through a time of stress, you know, he often spoke to himself. Uh, it's almost like he was saying, hey, stay calm. You know, um, speak, he, he spoke to his soul. Be at rest, oh my soul. You know, he reminded himself that God has blessed him tremendously and there was no need for him to ups be upset. And I think when we go through those times of emotions, where we are upset, when we are stressed, when we are angry, I think we need to speak to our souls to say, hey, be at rest. God is good to us. You know, um, uh, and, and I'm going to read again from, from verse 8 and 9 from 116 and uh, Psalm 116. It says, He has saved me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. And so I walk in the Lord's presence as I love you on earth. Those are the words that David spoke to, to his soul, to, to, to encourage himself in the Lord and to walk in his ways because those are the only things that, that counteracted the emotional upheavals that he had. I want to encourage you today, you know, to speak to your soul today. If, if you are going through times of stress, if you are upset about something or somebody just spoiled your day, don't allow that to happen. Speak to your soul. Tell your soul, hey, be at rest. God is with me. He's walking with me and He will keep me in peace today in the name of Jesus. Won't you pray with me? Father, I thank you today that your word is so clear and, and it's such a wonderful guidance for us in our daily living that when we experience time of emotional upheaval, that what we can do is to speak to our soul let us remind ourselves that you are in control and what you've done for us. Let the peace of God cover us today. And, uh, we will, uh, and we will make a decision that no one will come and spoil all day. We will not get unnecessarily upset today because we carry your peace with us. In Jesus' name, amen. May you go in the peace of God and may you realize that, hey, declare the peace of God wherever you are. In Jesus' name. See you next time.